Welcome back to Terrific 10, where we're all about pushing the envelope, or in this case, the dinner plate. Buckle up, adventurous eaters and self-proclaimed foodies. We're about to embark on a culinary journey that will tease your taste buds, question your courage, and most importantly, make you very, very hungry. So, grab your forks, or maybe a barf bag, as we count down the top 10 exotic foods you must try before you die. Chapulinas, Mexico. Kicking off our list are the crispy, crunchy chapulinas from Mexico. They're not some fancy kind of chips. No, sir. They're grasshoppers. Yep, these insects are toasted with garlic, lime, and salt, and they're as popular in Oaxaca as popcorn is in a movie theater. And you thought you couldn't stomach bugs. Well, think again. Balut, Philippines. It's time to crack into number 9, and oh boy, is it a doozy. Balut, a popular street food in the Philippines, is a fertilized duck egg with a nearly developed embryo inside. It's boiled, served with a dash of salt, and eaten straight from the shell. You might be wondering, who would eat that? But trust us, it's quite the delicacy, if you can get past the beady eyes staring back at you. Durian, Southeast Asia. Ah, the infamous durian, also known as the king of fruits, and not just because it can knock you out if it falls on your head. No, it's the smell that's legendary. Described as a mix of gym socks and onions, it's so potent that it's banned in many hotels and public transportation across Southeast Asia. But if you can hold your nose and take a bite, you're in for a sweet, creamy treat. So, don't be a durian dodger, give it a try. Fugu, Japan. Number 7 on our list is not just a daring delicacy, it's a high-stakes culinary gamble. Fugu, or Japanese blowfish, contains a toxin that's 1,200 times deadlier than cyanide. Chefs have to train for years before they're allowed to prepare this dish. Because, you know, one small mistake and it's lights out for the diner. But if prepared correctly, it's said to be heavenly. So, would you play Russian roulette with your sushi? Sanachi, South Korea. Halfway through our list, we have Sanachi from South Korea. It's a simple dish, really. Just a small octopus served raw and freshly chopped. But here's the kicker. It's so fresh that the tentacles are often still squirming when served. And they can be a choking hazard if not chewed properly because of their suction cups. It's not just food, it's an adventure on a plate. Hakarl, Iceland. As we dive deeper into this culinary adventure, we're met with Hakarl from Iceland. This traditional dish is made from Greenland shark, which is poisonous when fresh. So, how do they make it edible, you ask? Simple. They bury it in the ground, let it ferment for a few months then hang it to dry for several more. The end result? A delicacy that's been described as tasting like very strong cheese slathered in ammonia. Yum? Kai, Peru. Ever looked at a guinea pig and thought, I bet that would be tasty roasted? No? Well, in Peru, they did. Kai, or guinea pig, is a traditional dish often served on special occasions. Roasted whole, it's said to taste like a cross between rabbit and dark chicken meat. But don't worry, they're not the same ones your kids keep as pets. At least, we hope not. Kazu Martsu, Italy. Our number 3 spot goes to Kazu Martsu, a cheese from Italy. But this isn't just any cheese. Oh no, this one comes with live insect larvae. The cheese fly larvae are added to pecorino to promote fermentation and cause the cheese's fat to decompose. The end result is a weeping, tongue-burning delicacy that's consumed while the maggots are still alive. Just be careful, the larva can jump up to 6 inches when disturbed. Who said dining wasn't a thrill? Surströmming, Sweden. Narrowly missing the top spot is surströmming from Sweden. This dish is essentially just fermented herring, but it's the smell that's the real kicker. It's often opened underwater to prevent the odorous liquid from spraying everywhere. But, if you can get past the initial olfactory assault, it's often enjoyed with a slice of bread. We know, it's a bit fishy, isn't it? Kopi Luwik, Indonesia. And now, for the number one spot. Drumroll, please. We're talking about Kopi Luwik, the most expensive coffee in the world. The secret to this pricey java? It's been through the digestive tract of a civet. Yes, you heard that right. The coffee cherries are eaten by the civet, fermented during digestion, and then the beans are collected from the feces, cleaned, roasted, and ground into coffee. It's like your regular morning cup of joe, just with a little extra something. There you have it, folks. The top 10 exotic foods you must try before you die. Remember, variety is the spice of life, and sometimes, that spice might just be a little maggot in your cheese. 
But hey, don't knock it till you've tried it. Who knows, you might just find your new favorite dish, or at least a good story to tell at parties. Stay curious, adventurous eaters, and as always, stay terrific.